Today we're going to be making Greg Doucette's anabolic mashed potatoes. But these aren't normal mashed potatoes. These are cauliflower mashed potatoes. I haven't seen anyone make this on YouTube, so I'm curious. Is it bad? Go easy on that guar gum. Yeah, exactly, because, I mean, speaking of guar gum, Joe Biden farted on live television. <laughs> I have the documents. I saw it live. How do you know you I told you. I saw it. And they heard it. Yes. Yes, the microphone picked it up. Cut critical health care programs or stop work on roads and bridges. So what does the human cost uh, on roads and bridges? So what does the human cost? Uh... Now we got to reduce it to medium, allow it to simmer. And uh, the directions don't really say reduce this one to medium. Here we go. Don't splash. Ah! Okay. Slowly but surely, slowly. Ah, dang, this kind of burns. This this is actually painful. Ooh, okay, the cauliflower is cooked. Cauliflower is cooked. These are your potatoes? Those are my potatoes. These are rock hard, they're not ready. Well, I never said they were ready. I said the cauliflower is, because look, time to transfer this into the colenda. Slowly but surely. No calorie left behind. Right back into the pan, pot. Transfer to the colander. Take your potatoes and pour them in the blender. Cauliflower. Okay, here we go. Pour your other stuff. A little bit of this mysterious substance. Everyone shut their glass mouth. Comedic value. Okay. Shut. And Jake, you just take it out. Good lord. You're always eating. No, this is my final thing. This is oh yeah, it's my final thing. My Does life. that mean that my statement is wrong? But this is my last bank. Does that mean you don't rob banks? I just want to pour this so bad. Just so bad. I just want to pour it so bad. I just, okay. Pour it in there. And that just looks like a giant. Could you imagine if we didn't edit our videos? They would have to see who we really are. In this recipe, you have to pulse blend. I just want to hit this so bad, but directions. I thought there were no rules in the anabolic kitchen. You mean mom's kitchen? Nope, anabolic kitchen. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Schmuck! <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm? Five seconds, true. Five seconds? Five seconds. Five Say seconds. I won't. Thanks, <laughs> <So> you won't. <laughs> One. What <should> <laughs> <laughs> Jake, I was so scared in those five seconds, you wouldn't believe. Now we're gonna add the remaining sour cream to the mashed potatoes. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That looks scrumptious. It actually does, wow. Check it out, check it out. It's not a schmuck serving. This recipe clocks in at 437 calories, zero grams of fat, 96 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fiber, and 15 grams of protein. Now this looks good. Mmm, and it smells good. Everybody in the house said, oh, this cauliflower, it smells so bad, it stinks. But mixed together, the smell's gone. Just from looking at it, you'd have a hard time telling these apart from regular mashed potatoes. You see? Why do YouTubers do that? Like, you know, eh, uh, very curious, very curious. Mmm, okay. They're mashed potatoes. They're straight up mashed potatoes. I, I mean, I don't know why I was expecting something to be off. Literally mashed potatoes. Mmm, okay. Definitely don't skip out on the sour cream. It takes it to another level. I'm sorry, I'm not even describing this properly. Creamy, luscious. You could put the spoon over your head. It's not runny. I don't like cauliflower. I don't like many vegetables. The only thing I can stand is spinach, but the smell's gone. There's no bad taste. The only problem is at certain parts, there's a bit more of a gummy texture. So I blended it long enough. It can't be me. It can't be me. Nope, nope, no. It's got good flavor, but it's sort of boring. You know, you could take this to the next level. I couldn't eat this all the time without adding something to it. Here's how I would eat this. And I'm not gonna eat it like this now. Oh, I'm so tempted. Should I do it? 
Should I do it? I gotta do it. Okay, I got it. <sighs> this is my combo right here. You got the ketchup and the blue cheese. The ketchup could be better because it's not sugar-free, so get the sugar-free ketchup. I don't have it, so whatever. And then you got the blue cheese. Bolt House Farms. Chunky blue cheese. Not as good as regular blue cheese dressing, but close enough. And that's what we're trying to do here, right? I know some of you are like, this is an insane combo. And other people are like, thank God someone else is with me. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh my, oh my. Oh goodness gracious, good grief and crap. Look at that. And you might mix it in a little bit like, oh. Yep, that's it. Now if you're out of your mind, you could put some fat-free cheese on here because uh, this one guy in the comments, he said it best. It's like shaving an eraser on top of your food. The only way it's gonna taste good, fat-free cheese, is if you add some spices to it. And I never thought about it. I just assumed, oh, I'm putting cheese on this. It makes it taste better. And then I actually really thought about it after having dish after dish with fat-free cheese. And I was like, why am I doing this? So the only time I'm gonna have fat-free cheese with a meal is if I'm reviewing it. I'm gonna keep eating. I'll tell you one thing. I am never making this again because Okay, that's an exaggeration. I am gonna make it in bulk. There is no way I'm just gonna make it for this amount. And that's what he recommends in the cookbook. He recommends that you make it in bulk. It's pretty impressive that I got to eat all that for under 500 calories. And it's starting to fill me up. Not full yet. I got a big appetite. Oh, I definitely went a little heavy on the pepper on that bite. Good grief. There are people that will eat pounds upon pounds of fries and wedges and they can just keep eating. Keep eating. You're not going to find many people doing that with a baked potato or with this. So it's good that you're not dealing with trigger foods. And plus, the ingredients themselves aren't trigger foods. I mean, who's eating gallons upon gallons of fat-free sour cream? If you are, who's eating pounds upon pounds of uncooked potatoes? And even cooked. Who's just... Who's doing that? What's the other one? Cauliflower? I mean, if your binges are going out and eating grass off your lawn, you're in a good place. There's guar gum in this. I just realized that. It's only three fourths of a teaspoon. So that's not, that's not that bad because my protein ice cream has one teaspoon. I was making sure that it didn't have two teaspoons because I might've been dead. No calorie left behind. Hmm. We're done. How do I feel? I feel good. I definitely feel satisfied. It doesn't feel like I ate air. For the calories, it's worth it. But it needs improvement with the general, like it's it's a base recipe. It's not the type of thing you're just, oh, I got my cauliflower mashed potato. No, you need to add something to it. You gotta add something to it. Add some sauce, some meat, some chicken, some shrimp. Shrimp, mashed potato, lobster mashed potatoes. I saw that on the menu of Red Lobster. You could try that. Got some cash on you. You could put that into your dish. That pretty much wraps up this video and I hope you all have a blessed day.